Back this car's garage. Welcome back to this car's garage. In this video, I'll show you how to remove an inner tie rod. This is an inner tie rod tool I'm going to use. This is great. I'm going to put a link in the description below on where to get this. And this has like a little cam in here, like, like an eccentric cam with, with gear teeth that grabs onto the inner tie rod and cracks it loose. So before we do that, just real quick, uh, make sure you mark the outer tie rod because you have to take this apart to fit that tool in and count the number of turns, revolutions. So when you put everything back together, um, you're going to put exactly the same back, the number of revolutions back. And it should, the length should be exactly the same when you put it back together. So now I'm going to go ahead and just take this off and count it. And then I'm going to show you, I'm going to take this boot off. Okay, so you got to take everything off the jam nut too, you got to take off. Then you got to clip over here, squeeze her, and yank on her, and that clip comes off. So, cut that, and that's off. And now we can yank this boot off. Okay, there you go. A little bit of butter sauce here. Ah, there you go. Woo! Okay, now over here you gotta take this plastic boot off. It's not necessary. So this is what you're putting the tool on. It's just a threaded hole on the rack, and there's always some red thread lacquer in there, which makes it tougher to come off. And the tool goes on here and cracks it loose. Now slide this tool in all the way. You might have to turn this a little bit. You want to see it right there. And now you're going to go counterclockwise to pop this off. Now over here you put a half-inch extension with a big bad breaker bar just like that and now crack her loose ah woo yeah baby And there she is, folks. She's out. Okay, now I'll put the new one in. All right, now to put on, to tighten it, there's some flats at the end over here. I just use a crescent wrench and give it a good tug. And we're good. Put the boot back on. Put that metal zip tie over there. Trim her up with my favorite tool, my big dikes. And the clip at the end over here. And we're done. I'm going to put the outer tie rod on. I'm going to count number of turns, go in with it, and measure the old uh, inner outer tie rod length with this length. Um, I'm also going to give it a little bit of an alignment, a backyard alignment. I have a link in the description below on how to do that, just to get you ready to go to the shop to get a re real alignment. And that's pretty much how you install and remove an inner tie rod using that tool. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Like me and share me. See ya!